Welcome everyone. On this episode, we're going to show you how I'm going to drill in these bolts and washers into here, trash can lid, hinge, so it could actually open up. Now in a previous video, we did some riveting and we added this to it, an eight millimeter, eight or 10. And it worked out marvelous. So here's the problem though. When I open it, when I open it, this side works fine. It's no struggle. This side over here, it opens up. The cracked, damaged area on the trash can hinge opens up. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a hole on this side and in the other side to make it stiff. And we will have it just like the other side and it will open up as normal, as operational. The next step I'm going to do, we're going to get the right bolt length. And you should know that by uh, kind of measuring, kind of see which one fits. And this one fits the, uh, the length of the hinge itself. And we're going to add some washers to it. We're going to tighten them up with some 10 millimeter. See, as I got, my, I got here my tool set. So I'm ready to go. And we'll go and go through it. So there we have it folks, we have some bolts in the trash can hinge and that will help us support when we open the uh, lid itself. Let's see how she does. Look at that. No problem at all opening it. No opening, it doesn't open up over here like it did a couple minutes ago. It took me a couple minutes to drill it, bolt it in, tighten it up. But works out great, so hopefully, hope you guys like the video. Thank you for watching. Hello, everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how, in a couple minutes, you can fix your trash can hinges with a couple minutes of drilling, a couple bucks of some bolts, tightening up, and your trash can will look just as new or functional. Your trash can will be functional. Now let's go around this trash can. As you can see from opening up front, everything opens up. Trash can is destroyed. Look at this. It moves up and down. It's not tightening how it needs to. And at this rate, it will continue to crack and break off. So let's get started and get some drilling in. Too bad these zip ties didn't work. It was a great idea. Not functional though. The tension on the opening did not make it withstand the strength and slamming. It's just with time. But with these bolts, but with these bolts, it will take its time. So let's get drilling. Now that we got our holes in from drilling, we'll go ahead and put these in. We'll go ahead and put these in with some washers, tighten them up, and put them back in the curb. Now the other side. So now that we got our both bolts in in place these are 10 millimeter
Okay, let's go around. So I went ahead and fastened them up, tightened them up, and they're looking good. This one I had to drill out the uh, zip ties out, kind of, so it's kind of flush. But uh, I know I got this issue going on right now, but that's going to be in a later video. We'll see if a product works how, a, how it's supposed to. So, Flex Seal coming up next. But let's see how it's functional it is. Wow, amazing. Look at that. No openings here, no, I mean, besides this, but we'll see about a product I'm about to test out. But I know it is damaged, but it is functional and it does close it right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. What do you guys think? Would you do something different? Would you just buy a new lid? Comment in the section below and let me know. Thank you.